there is just a power to being out on the river. To get away from technology and cell phones and you know everyday life and uh, just just living on the river. A few other rivers I've been out east and uh, done the Nantahilla and the Okoe, I've done the Middle Fork of the Salmon, uh, I've done the Yompa. Um, but th there's, there's just something about the, the geography of this place, the, the dramatic scenery, the, the phenomenal thousand foot sheer cliff walls that surround you as you're floating down the river. It, it's, it's just something that grabs me, something that I wanted to come and see again. This canyon is really a national treasure, but it's also something of a buried treasure. I looked through both the uh, Fromers and the Fodor's guides to Utah, 500 pages in each of those books. Desolation Canyon isn't mentioned once. I mean, you've got canyon walls that rise 6,000 feet above the river in some places. That's, that makes it deeper than the Grand Canyon. I feel like when you do trip after trip after trip, you start just getting caught up in, okay, this is day two, this is day three, I just gotta get through day three, I just gotta get through day four. And you don't really live in the moments. And then there was this, there was this uh, time on the river on this last trip. I'm looking up at these canyon walls with these pine trees and these goats, and I'm thinking, holy hell, I have the coolest job in the world. On day two, the wind was 70 miles an hour upstream, and there was no way we could paddle on that. But look how pretty the sun is gone. The moon shines through the cherry blossom. We didn't row. <laughs> we rowing against the wind was tough. We, we we got blown into the trees a lot. <laughs> we got blown into rocks, trees, and was... then we got blown off the water. Bone from sliced up side to side. Caught in the mark, got stuck to the cut. I'd say that we visited the same tree at least eight times. Look up and I'd see Chad and I'd see Scott and they're both stronger and more skilled than I am, and they're making it around this the bend. Not true. And I've got my little chicken wings, and I'm just pushing for all I'm worth, <laughs> and just getting blown in circles up with. And then there was the one point where you got stuck on those rocks, and I ran up to come and help yes. push you off. Which and then I'm the pushing day. us off, and then I'm about to get run over by the boat, and I, uh, I jump in the boat, grab me, and uh, you, and both of you guys just grab me and pull me up on, and that was very great. I'm a robot dragging through the water. It was crazy compared to uh, what you're used to. Usually that comes along with storms in northwest Arkansas, not just 60 mile an hour winds. Eat some from the nest like a dinner plate. I 
the end, I was standing there just kind of leaning into the wind, thinking how amazing it was. Yeah. <laughs>